Hi, we're in our mini series talking about Midot for Elo. And as one of the things um, that would be helpful in terms of taking us away from depression and despair and sadness and laziness and all of those heavy flaws that bring us down and that don't enable us to grow, we said that chesed is something that we need to work on because chesed takes us out of our little tunnel vision, our little blinders, and focusing on our problems and focusing on my on ourselves and our selfish needs and working towards like getting a big picture and take you know just like kind of like standing up as opposed to being like a dog or or a donkey whose head is down and always focusing on their own needs we're going to be a human being a spiritual human being we're going to be look, looking upward and that's bound to make us um just happier and get us out of the ground, right? And start thinking big. So we were talking about chesed. And um, I just want to remind you that we were also saying that what matters with all of these midot is not the accomplishment necessarily, not so much that you actually change your mida. Let's say you were born with a real tendency towards uh, depression or despair or something else like arrogance or or anger, all of these things. What matters is not so much the fact that you all of a sudden change into becoming a different person, but that you're working on it. You're in the fight, okay? That's what's most important. And another thing I wanna remind you, and you're, it'll keep coming up, is that Nitzivot Shalom is very clear that sur meira ve'aseh tov, uh, which literally means go away from bad and do good, is not really saying that uh, we have to right away go away from bad and then we do good, but rather we soar may ra, we go away from bad by doing good, okay? So the reason why I'm talking about chesed now is not only to get us out of our own uh, problems and depression, but also to uh, start doing good because a little bit of light allows a lot of darkness to just be chased away. So we're looking at doing chesed because we're trying to do a lot of good, bring some light into our lives, and that will uh, automatically improve all our mito. okay? So we were saying that a day in your life in which you do not do a chesed for another human being is not even considered a day, okay? So it's super, super important. And, um, Nativo Shalom says that really we see that the whole world is built on kindness. Olam HaTikun, the whole world, which is basically here to be fixed slowly but surely, started with Avraham. And we know that Avraham was the Midah of Chesed. And it's not only that he had that like open house policy and that everybody can come in and that he was looking for guests all the time. It's that he was a person that loved other people, okay? So what chesed is, is not only that you do things that are chesed uh, actions, like some people do a lot of chesed, right? They really are into it. They do a lot of chesed, they volunteer, they make meals, they, they help out people on a regular basis and they don't take any money for it. And it's like amazing, they really do a lot of chesed. But if you ask them, do they love people? Not automatically is it the same. And it says in, in Pirkei Avot that a person who is a student of Avraham, the way to get to Chesed is by these three things. Nefesh, uh, ayin tova, you have an ayin tova, you have a, a good eye. That means you're always looking for the good. You see the good in people, you see the good in life, you see the good in Hashem, okay? It's a way to see that you're in the direction towards Chesed because you are a student of Avraham. Ayin tova, you see the good. Okay, nefesh shvela, ruach nemucha v'nefesh shvela. Ruach nemucha v'nefesh shvela really kind of means certain humility. Uh, ruach nemucha means a low uh, spirit, which I don't know, to me that doesn't sound very good, but I think that what it means is the opposite of like ruach gvoha, that you think you're so amazing. Here you're, you're humble and you're willing to do for others because you like other people, you want to learn from other people, you want to get out of yourself because you're not 
really so important in your own eyes, okay? More important, what I can do for other people, what do other people have to teach me? You could see with Avraham that he was just like running after guests, you know? Like if you're into chesed or you have guests on a regular basis because, you know, it's the right thing to do, it could be that you're not really a chesed person. It could be that you're a person who just does the right thing to do because they are gavura people. They are people who want to do the right thing. Okay, so it's an interesting question to ask ourselves. Do we like people? Are we running after guests? Like now during Corona, are we just like so happy that we don't have to have guests? Or are we saying, you know, I really miss having people. Is there any way that we can work it out, that we can have people in our house? We'll do social distancing. We'll, we'll wear masks until we eat, you know, st stuff like that. You know, are we looking to do chesed? Um, of course, it doesn't always have to be with guests. It could just be with other people, and it could also be during corona. You could do so much chesed in so many different ways. But I just, um, before I get to that, uh, I just want to say this. Oh, another really amazing thing that we can learn from Avraham Avinu is that he did not give the people uh, that he was helping the feeling that he was helping them. That's another really amazing thing that we should learn about ourselves, we should try and develop within ourselves. When we do chesed for somebody else, don't make them feel that you are doing a chesed for them. Don't look for appreciation, don't, don't look for thanks, okay? This is something you just are doing because you are becoming a better person, a more other-centered person, a more chesed person, okay? You're becoming an ohave chesed. So don't look for appreciation and make the other person feel that they're doing you a favor, okay? That's a really cool thing. This is what Avraham did. When he, when he kept, when he was giving the malachim, who really didn't need any food, but he was, um, he didn't realize that. He was giving them food, right? And they were angels. And he was saying, yukachna me'at ma'im imna Please don't leave. Please take some water, take some food. Please. I'm so, I, I want to do this so badly. You're helping me if you come into my house and you take my food. So that's what we should remember when we're doing chesed for somebody, you know? First of all, great to do it if they don't even know that they're getting it, right? That's what's called gemilut chesed. Gemilut means weaning. Did you ever hear that? Weaning, to uh, wean a baby after they're finished nursing and you're trying to wean them, ligmol et yeled. You're trying to wean them off of you. Gmilut chesed is the same thing. It seems like a contradiction. You're weaning that person away from the chesed, right? So you're doing chesed, but it's for you and you're trying to wean them off of you they shouldn't feel that they're dependent on you because that's not chesed, all right? And so, so, so that's really one thing. And this is beautiful to remember. Uh, you know, we'll do more about this tomorrow. But ha'ole al kulana hu ha'chesed benafsho ruho v'nishmato. The best thing you could do for somebody is make them feel good. Is the chesed that we do with the person's soul, with their spirit, with their... Um, with their heart, you know, with their emotions, with their mental, um, you know, uh, wellness. If you can make somebody feel better, feel good about whatever it is, if you can listen to them for a few minutes, if you can give them a compliment, if you can just like, just like encourage them that things are gonna be okay, and now these days you can do that. This is something we can do, we can do it on Zoom, we can do it on just FaceTime, we could do it on just sending them a WhatsApp message, how are you doing, I'm thinking about you, I love you, you're amazing, you keep going, you know, you're doing great, all kinds of things, and, and it doesn't take so much time and you're making them feel good, okay? So that is the most important thing, because people are sharui b'mashber, it could be that somebody is completely in a crisis, strengthening somebody and encouraging them. And this is what you could do if you just feel that you are mishtatif b'tsa'ar hazulat, that you are with them. Just empathize, be with them. You know, you can do that. That's a chesed, a tremendous chesed. Okay, good luck, everybody. Have a great day.